Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to solve an example based on A star search algorithm. Okay. So I hope you know what is A star search algorithm. So please watch the lecture before coming to this tutorial part. Okay. So A star is search is basically an informed search technique, right? That is informed search technique means based on heuristic value. Based on heuristic uh, value, uh, we take the uh, next node or we find out the a path which is having the uh, minimum heuristic value right but in the case of a star search we have something have f of n right it is evaluation function evaluation function it is based on this evaluation function this the node which is having lesser value of this evaluation function will go through that node only right and this evaluation function f of n is equals to g of n plus h of n right so where h of n is basically a heuristic value right h of n is basically a heuristic value and g of n is basically a cumulative cost cumulative cost from starting node to node n to current node n and this heuristic value is the uh, value of the particular node n right so first we need to calculate the heuristic value of uh, each and every node and for each and every node we have to find out the f of n and we have to see which one is having the lesser f of n and we'll go through that particular node okay so we'll discuss how this works but very very important point please remember this formula and what is f of n g of n and h of n so f of n is evaluation function based on this only we take our a decision g of n is basically cumulative cost from the start node to n node so same thing we used in the case of uniform cost search that is g of n h of n is basically heuristic value okay so in the question what is the question first so consider the below undirected graph with Cartesian coordinate in which G is the goal, right? So G is at 0 by 0, that is uh, the origin, and S is the starting node at with the coordinate 9, comma 6, right? Apply A star search algorithm on the below graph and find a node that is generated as neighbors except S, right? In searching this for the shortest path from S to G with Euclidean distance from G node as the heuristic value. So information is given us to us that heuristic value is basically Euclidean distance from G node, right? So in this case, there, there are two types of like suppose the question is mentioned like this in the uh, graph, like graphical format. So there are two types that heuristic value they can ask. First one is based on the Euclidean distance, Euclidean distance, and second is based on Manhattan distance, right? Manhattan distance, right? So what is Euclidean distance and what is Manhattan distance? Right. So for example, we have this graph, right? Okay. So there are two points, point A and this is point B. So what is Euclidean distance? So it's the shortest path. That is basically this path, okay, from A to B. Okay. And this is my suppose x a comma y a and this is basically x b comma y b. Right. So this is what my uh, distance is, right? This, these are my coordinates. So, what is Euclidean distance? Euclidean distance is basically a under root of x a minus x b square plus y a minus y b square, right? So, basically, you can see it's a Pythagoras or uh, apply Pythagoras theorem here, right? So, difference in x coordinate, so that will be distance this, difference in y coordinate will be distance y. So, under root of x square plus y square, so in this case, this is will be Euclidean distance. What is Manhattan distance? Manhattan distance. So we calculate x and y, the distance between this point and this point, and y, that is the distance between this point and this point. So Manhattan distance will be x plus y. Okay. So I can say that is xp in this case minus xc, right? That will be my x plus yb minus y. So that will be my y. So we take the absolute value here, that is the positive value. So, even if you subtract y a minus y b or x a minus x b, so we will always take the absolute value here. So, so, that is what Manhattan distance is. Right? So, either they can give, so either they can mention Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance. So, you should know how both the things, right? So, this is the question given to us. Okay? So, this graph is given to us. Now, we need to find out the f of n value starting from s, right? And the special note is given to us that if two nodes have the same cause, then for tri use alphabetical order. 
right for example in my list i have a uh, d e and c and if all the three, all the three uh, nodes and all the three nodes are having the same cost then i will go with a c because in alphabetical order c comes first right so right so i hope you understand what we have to do in this question so we need to find out the equilibrium distance and uh, that is basically a heuristic value and then apply this particular formula right so at first we will find out heuristic value for each node heuristic value that is h of n for each node so first what is h of okay so at first we'll find out the heuristic value for each and every node okay so first let us find out the value for s so for example h of s so it will be under root of so this 9 6 right so it is basically uh, 9 square plus 6 square okay so it will see what is it h of then e so what is h of e here so e is this point so this is basically 4.5 and this is also 4.5 so under root of 4.5 square plus 4.5 square right this will be my equilibrium distance now heuristic uh, function for i what is i here in this case it's so it's lie on x axis right so basically uh, 5 6 7 7.5 so 7.5 square is basically 7.5 right now h of d what is h of d under root of this distance so 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 so under root of four, 3 square plus 4 square so under root of 3 square plus 4 square that is basically a 5 what is h of f what is h of f so it is basically 3 4 1 2 3 so 4 square plus 3 square right 4 square plus 3 square that is basically a 5. So D, E, F, H we have uh, done. So H, H is remaining, right? So H of H is basically, so H is, is uh, 4, 5, 5 square plus 0. 0.5 square, right? What is H of uh, then A and C, right? H of A, H of A is basically 1, 2, 2.5. 2 5 right 6 so 2.5 plus 6.5 2.5 square plus 6.5 square right what is h of c h of c is basically 1 2 3 3.5 1.5 square so 0.5 square 3.5 square right 3.5 right 1 2 3 yes 3.5 so i hope i have covered all the nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it is S also, right? So we don't need to find out the value of S, but yeah, still we are finding it. So, okay, so now let's do the calculation. So it will be uh, 6 square plus 9 square, that is basically a 10.81. So this will be 6.36. Okay, I'm just doing the calculation. So 5.024, and this is 6.94, and this is. 3.54 right so we have calculated the heuristic value for each and every node okay now we just need to follow the f of n equals to g of n plus h of n formula for each and every node right so we have an open list and then we have a closed list right so at first right so at first we are at this particular starting point s and from s i can go to e or i can go to i right so open list will be my s so i will explore s so i will remove this s i will add in the close list so from s i can go to i or i can go to e but which node to go first based on the lowest f of n value now just calculate f of i so g of n is basically this right so 15 is given to us at right? 15 so g of n is basically 15 starting from s so it is 15 h of n value of i is 7.5 right it's basically 22.5 what about f of e f of e is basically 5 right so g of n is 5 plus h of n that is h of e is 6.36 it is basically 11.36 so lowest is e so i will go with e so after that we'll go through e so e so i will remove e from the open list 
but from e i can go to d and f right so but for me i can go to d and f so what is the evaluation function for d f of d and f of f so f of d is basically this right so i am going to this particular e right so we already uh, go through s and e from e i am going to d from e i am going to f okay so we need to find out the cumulative cost from s to d via e okay that is what cumulative cost is right in the case of uh, in uniform cost search we have discussed that so what is the value of g of n in this case for d that is 5 plus 1 that is 6 so that is 6 and what is h of d that is 5 that is basically 11 what is the uh, g of n value for f that is 5 plus 6 that is 11 right so it's 11 plus f uh, h of f is basically 5 that is basically a 16 so out of this 16 11 and 22.5 which one is having the lesser that is basically f of d right so f of d so we'll explode d i will remove d from this particular uh, open list but from d I, where i can go i can go to c and i can go to f also right from C, uh, from D, I can go to A, I can go to C, I can go to F, right? So C, A, F, right? So F is already present, so I can go to C, I can go to A, right? Now C is already present, right? But we need to, what we need to consider the lowest uh, evaluation function, right? So for example, if I calculate F of F again, so this F of F we have calculated via S E F. Now, this F we are calculating, for example, F dash we are calculating S E D F. So, in this case, G of n value will be 5 plus 1, 6 plus 4, that is 10. So, that is 10 plus H of uh, F is 5, that is basically a 15, right? So, in this case, we are calculated through this S E F, that is 11. And if we go by S E D F, so it will be 5 plus 1, 6 plus 4, that is 10. So that is basically a 10. So we'll update the value of f to 15. Okay. So we are not considering this, we are considering f of dash 15 now. Okay. But what about uh, c? That is f of c. f of c, right? So g of n is 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus uh, 3, that is 9, because we are going to s, e, d, c, right? So that is basically a 9, right? And what is f of c? is 3.54 right that is basically a 12.54 what is f of a what is f of a f of a we are s e d so 5 plus 1 6 plus 3 9 that is 9 plus f of uh, h of a that is 6.94 that is basically 15.94 right so out of and what is the i i is 22.5 so out of this i f dash c and a which one is lowest c right c is the lowest so i will add c in the closed list i will explode the c i will remove from the open list but from c where i can go from c i can directly go to g right so c i can directly go to g right so and what is the cost of f of g here so f of, heuristic value of f of uh, sorry h of g is basically always zero right so heuristic value of a goal state is zero so very important point they can ask this question for one marks also. Heuristic value of goal state is always zero. So in this case, it will be just. Uh, so in this case, the answer will be five plus one that is six, six plus three that is nine, right? So that is nine. Wait, so nine and also two, right? So we are going to this particular part. So g of n will be nine plus two that is eleven. So that is eleven, right? Eleven. So out of this f of g, f of a f of c is already covered f dash of f and f of i f of g is the lowest so next goal will be g right so here we find out our close list that is our goal so we find out our goal state right so our path is s to e e to d d to c and c to g this is our path okay this is our path what is the cost cost is basically l a 1 right so from S E D C G the cost is eleven, right? So after finding out the goal, what will be the elements in the open list? So open list element will be I, then F, and then A. Okay. Closed list element will be my this S E D C G. Okay. 
So what is asked in the question? The shortest path from this Euclidean distance, right? So find the node that is not generated as neighbor in searching. That is not generated. The goal which is not generated, it means which is not present in open list also and closed list also. So not generated node means what is not generated node? Node that is not present in open or closed list, right? So which is the node? So in this case, I think H, yes, H node is not present in open and closed list. So answer will be node H is not generated. So for this particular question, the answer will be node H, okay? So we can ask any type of question, like what will be the path, what will be the closed list, what will be the open list, what will be the node which is not generated. So different types of question they can ask based on open list, closed list, not generated, what will be the path, what will be the cost, right? So five type of question they can ask, path, cost, open, closed and uh, not generated, right? But you should know how to uh, calculate this f of n, right? Even they can ask, they can give this much uh, question for one mark, right? They can give for one mark and try to find out the ev evaluation function for f of n, right? find f of d they can also they can also ask this question for one marks also right they will give this much but you don't have to worry about it so f of d is simple right we have already calculated such type of question also you can expect in the exam right simple for one marks or two marks also so or they make you big uh, graph right for two marks and they will just uh, say okay find out the f of d value okay find out the evaluation function value for a node d find out the evaluation function value for node c Right, so they can ask based, uh, such questions. So different types of questions can be framed from the single question. So that's why this question is very important. I hope uh, you understand uh, the concept. Okay, so if concepts are clear, you can solve any type of question. Okay. So I think yeah, that's it from this particular uh, tutorial. I hope you understand this particular concept. And please make sure this Euclidean distance, what is Manhattan distance? This is very important in the case of A star search and closed list path cost open list closed list not generated how to calculate f of n value heuristic value everything you should know okay so if you have given any type of question in the case of like uh, a star search you should able to do it right so this is the only thing in the entire a star search so all those things are there only this graph will get changed right maybe instead of euclidean they will ask for manhattan distance so this type of variation will be there okay so graph will change uh, euclidean uh, manhattan distance or any type of uh, question they can ask so please try to practice, try to solve this question uh, by your own after this tutorial. So that will be good. Okay. Thank you.